Microsclerotia are present in the soil and dead plant tissue and root exudates stimulate the development. This is necessary to successfully infect the roots at the most susceptible location of the fast growing root tip. Research has shown that the flowering stage is when the canola plant is the most susceptible. The fungus can enter the vascular system by the root directly or through an opening in the root via the fungal hyphae. After the hyphae multiply in the root, hyphae in single cell spores called conidia are produced locally in the xylem and move through the vascular system of the plant to multiply. This prevents the regular flow and functionality of water and nutrients up to the plant tissues and eventually causing the xylem to plug, turn black, collapse, and shrivel. The interference of water and nutrient uptake caused by verticillium stripe can cause the crop to show signs of stunting and premature senescence. As the plant begins to senesce, the pathogen moves from the xylem into the surrounding non-vascular tissues where multicellular microsclerotia are formed in the dying tissue. Likewise, microsclerotia produced in the stem base and roots cause the tissues to turn gray, then black, and can cause the lateral roots to eventually break down. While the plant begins to show progressively more intense symptoms of the disease, the microsclerotia in the stems cause a peeling back of the stem epidermis. At this point, the stem may take on a shredded appearance and the microsclerotia will be released into the soil where they will rest until stimulated to germinate again. For more information on verticillium stripe, check out the Canola Encyclopedia, which can be found on the Canola Council website.